Hey guys, Dr. D here with Alpha Omega Wellness, where we help you find well. I gotta tell you, I'm a little terrified right now <laughs> because my wife, Megan, is going to interview me and I don't know what questions she's going to ask, but we think this is gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, so I'm not usually the interviewee in these. I know I mostly talk to people or I just talk on my own. So I'm excited to see what happens here. <laughs> so I thought this would be fun because I feel like People kind of want to know a little bit more about you, okay. D. Bonnie. I'm an open book, so. You are. <laughs> you kind of put it all out there. I put it out there. <laughs> all right. So I picture this kind of like if you put into Google, is my doctor, and then it like auto fills. Okay. So is my doctor board certified? I am board certified in emergency medicine. Yes. Yes. I trained in both pediatrics and emergency medicine, but I did not continue my pediatric board certification after about 14 years. At 14 years after residency, I let that expire because I wasn't really using it. So spending another couple grand for board certification really wasn't that big of a deal. And by the end of the year, and by the end of the year, I'll be certified as well through the Institute of Functional Medicine. Yes. So. I always think of your story about how you tried to burn the NICU down during the Friends finale. Oh, yeah. That was the PICU. Oh, yeah, the PICU. Yeah. So I was all set up to watch uh, the season premiere, actually, of Friends. Oh, yeah. And uh, I put microwave in the... <laughs> <laughs> I put popcorn in the microwave and then went back to the little conference area and was kind of waiting for it to start. And there wasn't a lot of census in the in the PICU and the kids were stable, so I had time. And then I come back to I come back to get my popcorn. And it's in this little like pantry room. And I open up the microwave door and black smoke billows out, right? And then the smoke detector goes off. And I'm just like, and one of the nurses is like, what did you do? I said, I cooked popcorn. She goes, for how long? I said, like, two and a half minutes. And she's like, no, this is like a super duper charged microwave. Like, everything's faster. And I did it for, like, the normal amount of time for a bag of popcorn. And so the PICU nurses actually did, like, when the firemen came up and responded. So it wasn't all bad for them. But I was just, like, And all the babies were hiding. okay. All the kids were fine. <laughs> Yes, and then uh, one of my faculty was actually in the building at the time, it was like eight o'clock at night, and he calls up to the PICU, he's like, is everything okay? They're like, yeah, Bonnie just tried to burn the PICU down. So, yeah, <laughs> you infamy. Were, I was gonna say you were infamous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is my doctor married? I am married to you. Mm -hmm. You are. Eight years this fall. Yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay, is my doctor Rich. <laughs> I actually did Google, like, what is my doctor, and that was one of them. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it depends on how you define rich. That's what I was going to say. Rich with love, rich with abundance, not rich with Benjamins in the bank account. No. You know, uh, two divorces, um, leaving full-time work in the emergency department to grow a business. Uh, I am far from rich yes. monetarily, but I'm rich in other parts of my life. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely in love. Yes. <laughs> Is my doctor on time? I'm getting better. You are a... I'm a time optimist. <laughs> so I always think that I have just three more minutes to get that thing done. But then what happens is I leave the house two minutes late, and what's weird about that math is I arrive two minutes late. But in our Shocking. office, in our office with patients, generally very on time, especially considering comparing to other medical offices. Like if right. I'm not sitting in front of you within 10 minutes of your appointment time, something's off. The last patient need a little extra love. I don't know that I've been more than 15 minutes late to an appointment and our, our viewers know that they've waited an hour or more beyond their appointment. Right. So we try to really keep a tight ship on that. And so. you really don't like it when I'm banging on the door saying your next one's ready. So you really try to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you keep me in line. I do. All right. Getting more personal, what is your biggest health struggle? Wow. My biggest health struggle. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I would say 
I struggle with insulin resistance, but I'm still on my own weight loss journey. And so I'm treating that. So that's not so much a struggle that's getting better. Um, I think my biggest struggle with my health right now is my sleep. For some reason, I'm trying to biohack my own life right. and figure this out. I wake up either three hours or four and a half hours into sleep. We sleep in 90 minute sleep cycles. So I wake up after two or three sleep cycles and my brain is just kind of on. And it's like, what do you want to talk about? I'm like, I don't want to talk about anything. I want to go back to sleep. It's like, no, who are you seeing today? So it's not even like bad stuff comes flooding in. It's more just my brain. And so I'm trying different supplements and I've done some testing and just trying to figure out how to biohack that. But I mean, overall, my sleep is good. I get seven or more hours of sleep at night. I wake up feeling well rested. I have energy throughout the day. So it's that one little piece of just waking up after three or four and a half hours every single night of my life. <laughs> one night I actually slept for six hours and that was just remarkable. And it's so important because it's a complaint we hear a lot from our oh, patients. Oh yeah, and so. so, and I've actually been able to help patients get better sleep. Um, because because maybe, of all these hacks you've tried. Well that, and I mean, I think maybe their issue is different than my issue. So yeah. I know a lot about sleep. <clears throat> I even have a sleep handout that I give patients frequently. Yeah. Um, but sleep is sleep is one of those things that's just so important to our health and our longevity and our health span. Yep. So right up there with nutrition and body movement is sleep. Sleep is well, it's the pivotal. time that your brain essentially gets washed. Yeah, it detoxifies, yeah. and so actually poor sleep along with insulin resistance is a great setup to develop Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So when somebody's in their 30s or 40s and I fix their insulin resistance so that their sugar's not running high and I fix their sleep, literally change their health 30, 40, 50 years down the road. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Last one. What's your favorite part about helping people find well? <clears throat> well, I think my favorite part is just that feedback when people are shocked at how great they can actually feel. Uh, I saw a patient back a couple of weeks ago and I'm taking care of her and her husband. And, you know, they're both on a peptide that's helping them lose weight, which is awesome. Um, the husband's on some hormone replacement therapy. We're really getting to the root cause of what's going on. And she came in and she's like, oh my gosh, like we feel so good almost like what else do you have like i didn't know i could possibly feel this great right so is there something else out there that i should try because i mean they're thriving like their their uh their relationship is great their sex life is better they feel good in their skin their clothes fit better right. like so i think that it's just that it's getting that feedback when people are just it's the shock and awe of what we do right mm -hmm. it's like if you start using these principles you find well. And so, yeah, that's that's the best part is when we just get that feedback, especially when it's unsolicited. Right. You know, when somebody's just like, oh my gosh, I feel so much better. We had a patient who moved back to Illinois and she told us, you know what, I'm gonna go back to my doctor in Illinois who for 10 years didn't listen to me and I'm gonna tell him to just continue doing what you're doing because I actually feel well. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me interview you. It's fun to be in the hot seat for a minute. So <laughs> listen, uh, hopefully you guys have found this fun and helpful. And I think Megan's idea was just to get to know me as a person because I'm a real life person, right? And so if you're out there and you're looking for an office that will really help you get to the root cause of what whatever's going on with your, with your health and wellness, we would love to take care of you. You can check out our website, alphamegawellness.com. And ultimately, you know, we view the world through the lens that there is one healer, and that's the great physician, Jesus. And so we both want to just encourage you, if you've not found a relationship with him, just explore it, right? Psalms 34, 8 says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And so for us, that's made such a radical difference in how we do life and how we parent our children. And just, you know, you asked me if I'm rich. And so I really think Jesus is the reason that I feel that, that we have a home full of peace and joy and contentment and love. and. You and I don't go nuclear when we have conflict. We still have conflict, yeah. but we don't go nuclear with that. We always stay on point. We don't say things to one another that we wish we hadn't said. Correct. And I really think that that's a byproduct of just having that relationship with Jesus and learning to do life his way and not my way. 
because I've proven that I can wreck relationships and ruin my life. So Amen. anyway, <laughs> God bless you guys. Until we see you next time, take care, be healthy, and let us help you find wealth.